Hey world, this is uh, this is Jaime again. This is day nine. Um, got news to say. I just I got a job today, which is a side side job, you know. Uh, being this coronavirus is really bad, you know. I uploaded my resume to Indeed. I uploaded. I applied for a few jobs, you know, but we all know what kind of world this is today. Uh, but I'm happy to say that I want to work today. Tomorrow I'll be working again. It's not permanent, but you know, in a, in, a, in a world such as the one we're living in today, this is, goes a long way, you know. Perseverance goes a long way. Don't ever give up on yourself. Don't ever throw in a towel. And don't ever feel sorry for yourself, because nobody else will be. You know, I'm out here. Just trying, trying, trying to stay away and above the madness. The anxiety I feel for being so out of control, you know, in a world where we know when our meals come, when our business come, when our mail comes, you know, when everything's predictable and everything's on schedule, that's the easy. Prison is easy. Come out here, face life in its own, on its own, on its own terms, and try to fuck, try to be the man that you're supposed to be, the man that you should be, the man that you want to be, it's hard, but it's up to you, no one else, you can't blame no one, you can't blame society, you can't blame the government, you can't blame your family, you can't blame nobody, it's just on you, you have to do the best for yourself, you know, you know, in an economy that such as this today, you know, I'm glad to say that I found a job and, you know, it's not the best job, it's junk removal, uh, today we just did a whole bunch of going to people's houses and removing their old stuff and throwing it away. But it's a job, you know. And he's gonna earn me an income legally. And that's that's the main thing, legally. Don't give up on yourself, because when you, as soon as you go back to the old ways that you know, you, you're giving up on yourself. Regardless of what they say, regardless of what you think, regardless of what you want to justify, you're going back to your old ways. And those old ways was what got you in the prison in the first place. Remember that, you know. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. We're above that. You should be above that. Why? Because prison should have opened your eyes. Um, today and every day since I've been out, I've been drinking. No, no alcohol, no no heavy alcohol, just beers to cope with the anxiety that I feel. Why? Because I've applied. I've applied for uh, Medi-Cal. I applied for resources and I, have, I haven't got nothing. Not because... Those things are not coming to me, but because the coronavirus has everything on hold. So, you know, the anxiety is real. You know, I'm ashamed to say that I came to the point where I snapped on my own relatives and felt like they were trying to play games with me, felt like they were trying to put me down, belittle me, when in reality, all they wanted to do was love me and support me. But my own anxiety, my own weak state of mind, allowed me and betrayed me into thinking in such ways you oh, know I'm glad to say that my heart my heart kept me from doing all these stupid so I'm still here I'm still beloved and I'm pushing strong I just want to keep you guys updated because I want to document this journey not for myself but for the next person for the next person who comes out and thinks that you can't really read just to say you know I want to see what my journey deals, my, what my journey brings, and how I go about it. Because I was that I was locked up 12 years. I got locked up at 11, 17 years old. 17 years old. I'm 29 years old now. You know, coming out to the world where social media is a thing, where smartphones are a thing. Remember, for those that none of that was around back then. You know, I'm pretty young, and I like to believe that I'm hip. So that's why I do what I do, and I had to do it for myself. You know, gotta be the man that I always been destined to be um, but the main point of this episode is to inform you guys that I got a job and that things do get better even in a time like these so try just keep trying I reached out to the DMV everything shut down but they informed me that next Wednesday they're going to be doing cyber uh, uh cyber meeting so I might be able to get my driver license at least my written test done through computers and you know that's what's up 
So I'll keep you posted on that and I'll keep you posted on all the latest and I'll keep you posted on how it goes tomorrow because from one or ten days, work should, should go up and cut down some palm trees. Have I ever done that? No. Am I scared of it? No. Am I going to do it? You best believe it. Why? Because it's going to earn me an income. It's going to keep my pockets full, my fridge full, and my happy. So, to all you guys out there, I'll see you next time.